Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, guys, if you want to basically be happy in life, if you want to, you know, achieve your goals, if you want things to happen for you, you have to always remember that you need to help yourself first. Okay? Basically, a lot of times, you know, in, in life, you know, people they 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 kind of like say you should do this or you should do that or you need to you know you, you shouldn't be selfish and you know and 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 all this other stuff and let me get on selfish real quick before i even go into what i'm going to go into you know there's nothing really wrong technically with being selfish you know in in a certain context because like when we're talking about help yourself first and in order for you to be happy, you have to kind of be selfish. You have to say, what do I want in my life? What do I want to happen? And then you have to go after that. You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, as long as you're not, you know, infringing on anybody else's shit. What do I want? And what do I, and, 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 and where do I want to be? What do I want to make happen? And then you do that. But the, but the key is you're asking yourself. You're, you're helping yourself. You're saying, what is it that I want to do? See, when you think about yourself first and you do what you want to do and you get what you want to get, you know, that's the thing that's going to make you happy. That's what's going to make you, uh, you know, uh, uh, like have a, a fruitful life. That's what's going to make things you know, exciting for you because you're doing exactly what you want and you're making exactly what you want to happen. See, what a lot of people do is that they do things based off of what they think other people want them to do. You understand? So when you're doing things that other people want you to do, you're not helping yourself. You are basically, you know, living your life based off of other people's ideas and principles, not really what you want to do, but you're doing their thing because you feel like this is what you're supposed to do. You, you're, you're taking a back seat. You're not helping yourself first. You're doing everybody else's shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And this is what a lot of people do. This is why a lot of people are miserable in their lives. This is why a lot of people, as they get older, they start to regret things. They start to feel like, damn, like, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. Because a lot of the things that they've been doing has been because of other people. They weren't helping themselves first. They weren't helping guide their lives in the direction that they wanted it to go. They were doing everything that everybody else wanted them to do, you know, because of pressure, maybe from their parents, from their friends, from from society, from, you know, messages throughout the media. You know, you have guys who are, you know, they get married, they have kids. They didn't really want any kids. They didn't really want to get married, but they felt that they needed to. They felt like they had to. They felt like, well, I'm a man and this is what I'm supposed to do. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make just do it. You know, but they had a dream and they had aspirations to do other things, but they put that to the side because they felt they were supposed to help other people. They felt like they were supposed to do things for others. They felt like they were supposed to do all this other stuff. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing things for other people, but you always have to help yourself first. And the thing is, you can't really even effectively help other people if you don't help yourself first. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know, somebody might say, you know, somebody might be running a business or trying to make some money and they'll say to that person, oh, but you know, you're, you're always spending time doing this thing for your thing and you're not taking time to spend with this person. You're not doing this and you're so selfish. And, but the thing is, is that that person is working to build their business so that they can actually have enough money and funds to actually help other people. See, they have to help themselves first get in a certain position before they can actually help other people. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have to do that, that, that you have to help yourself first. Just like, you know, when you're, you know, you can't, it's, you can't really effectively help other people if you don't help yourself first. See, if you don't help yourself first, if you're not doing what you want to do, you're not going to really be you know, emotionally like, well, you're not going to be happy because you're not really doing what you desire. And if you're not happy, how can you help? How can you really help someone when you're not happy? 
Think about times when you've been depressed and when you've been, you've been feeling like drained because of whatever it is. And you know, you're, you're just not in a, in a good state at that moment. Do you feel like you can help somebody? Do you feel like you can, uh, you know, uh, effectively go out there and do things? No, because you're not in the right state of mind. You're not, you're not feeling good. And the reason, and, 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 and if you're not feeling good, how are you going to help others do what they need to do? You understand? You have to help yourself first. You got to make sure that you're feeling good first before anything can actually go down. So once you start feeling good, then, okay, I can go and help these other people. Just like when you're, when you're in a plane and the planes, you know, the, those, those oxygen things drop down that you got to put over your face. They say, first, make sure you put yours on first, help yourself first, then you can help the person next to you because you cannot help the person next to you if you don't help yourself first. Now, the reason why, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really saying this is because, you know, a lot of times, you know, you don't achieve your goals. You don't, you're not happy. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're not where you want to be in life because you've been, there's too many times where you've just been focusing on everybody else. You've been focusing on, you know, uh, uh, like doing all these things for all these other people, you know, putting yourself and your desires and your wants and your needs to the, to the wayside, to the, you know, on the back burner for all these other things that you think, you know, you need to do for other people. Why? Why are you doing that? When you help yourself first, you're going to have a more happy life. You're going to achieve your goals. Things are going to happen for you because you are focusing on making yourself a better you because you are helping yourself first. And that, that effectively makes you help other people. Cause again, when I was talking about being selfish, you know, in life, they try to, you know, do this thing where they, they say, oh, well, it's, it's wrong to be selfish and all this other stuff. No, sometimes you need to be selfish and we are all selfish. If you want to, you know, get down to it, we're doing things, uh, you know, even when you're helping somebody, most times you help people because of why it makes you feel good to help them. That's selfishness because you want to feel good. Even though you're actually helping this person, it's out of a feeling that you get for doing it. It still comes back to you. So either way, you're, you, 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 you're, you know, either way it's coming back to you. So that selfishness is already there for us. You know, you know, it's already in us. The thing is, is that if you really want to effectively help other people, you have to really first work on yourself, meaning you have to help yourself first in order for you to help other people. The reason why any of you people out here who are working somewhere, who have a job, the only reason you have a job is because the person who owns that company helped themselves first. They help themselves build the company. They help themselves get to that status, to that level, to where they have this company in order to hire you. You understand? So don't ever feel bad for, you know, feeling like, oh, well, you know, should I just do this? Should I, you know, I want to do this, but I don't know because maybe it might seem selfish or maybe I should just do these other things that these other people want me to do. No, help yourself first. You understand? Don't feel bad about that. Don't feel, you know, people, they, they, they want you to be like, you know, uh, uh, sacrificing yourself for all these other things. Like, I'm, you know, I'm on Facebook and I'm, I'm reading these groups where they're, they're saying, oh, you know, don't be concerned with your own happiness. You have to, you know, go along with the group and, and for the, for the good of the group and all this other stuff. And again, there's nothing wrong with working with people to make things happen and to help things go along. Yes. But again, you are not going to effectively be able to do anything unless you help yourself first. Either, you know, it could be mentally, physically, whatever it is, you have to work on you and help yourself first before anything can really go out and go down and happen. You feel what I'm saying? So that is all I wanted to say for today. So guys, if you have any questions, hit me up at askmrlocario at gmail.com and I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.